<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cultural Awareness, the podcast that allow you to travel across the world. All of this from the backseat of your car, the comfort of your home, or maybe your neighbor house. Who knows? Wherever you are, welcome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm your host, Dexter. All right, all right. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to this podcast episode. Today, we are going to be very controversial, right? Oh, I don't even know. Today, we are going to be controversial, not very controversial, but we will be controversial. That being said, let me start with the story of the day so we can kind of put a context of to what the topic of the day is. So, this woman is writing to the show because, you know, obviously she's African and we try to go here about uh, African tradition, most likely the Bantu tradition. So, she's writing to the show because, well, she's already on her fourth marriage and she's only 32 years old, right? And the reason why she's already on her fourth marriage is because she felt like the previous relationship didn't work out. So now she just met this new guy. Not just met, but she met this guy and they be kicking it for a while. And what is actually going on is he doesn't have a job. He's still living at home with his parents. And if you listen to my previous uh, episode, yeah, the guy is... Uh, has the inheritance of his father inheritance in this position doesn't mean he has money it just means that when his father passed away his father uh, his father left him in charge to take care of his mom and brothers and sister so he uh, in french we call it héritier or successor right so he succeed to his father's death so the problem is because he doesn't have a job this woman is worried Right, because she already has had four previous relationships that didn't work out, and she doesn't want to repeat herself, she doesn't want to repeat the past, she doesn't want to repeat her failure of keeping her husband. So now she's writing because recently uh, she joined a church where you know a church where they pray and all that, and she wanted to know if this man is the right one for her, so she took this man to her church. And when they got there, the uh, the pastor said that they had to pray for nine days. And after the nine days, he will see if he has a revelation from God to see if this is her man or not. So they did that. They prayed for nine days. And after nine days, the pastor said that this man needed to be delivered because he was having nightmare about their case or about their situation. Well... The mother of the man said she's not too much into that church thing. She would rather take it to the old school fashion way. And the, by old school fashion way means they have to go to the village. Because in village, in our village, back home, we have a lot of... Uh, how can I put it so it can come out correctly? Because we use a lot of magic and they have like magic magician that are specialized in reading the future it's like medium people they read the future and they tell you what you should do to avoid certain things to happen like they call they call it cleansing you right cleansing you in a spiritual sense not you know in a detox sense but cleansing your your, your spirit so that your future can be prosperous well, she's tormented because she doesn't want to go to the village with the guy because she wants to take him instead to church and finish what they started. But the mother of the guy is saying that they should go instead to the village. So she's tormented about the two decisions and she's wondering, since when is it okay or is this normal that to have this type of... Uh, uh, we call it tracasserie so to have this type of i don't know situation argument before marriage or anything like that and that is what essentially she's writing about she's writing to ask for advice she wants to know if she's making the right decision or if she should just give up on the relationship and i guess find someone else well why did I tell the story? Because the to the story ties into the topic of the day. And the topic of today is 
uh, I will say <laughs> the topic is of today is should a woman ask a guy out in marriage should a woman ask a guy out in marriage why am I saying that because this relationship this uh, relationship that this lady is having with this man seem most likely to go toward that direction where she's in position of power she has the money the man is not working obviously he has no job so he has no money like they ne- he's still living under his parent house it looked like his mother is making the decision for him and not only that because she has the money because the only way for a man I mean, I wouldn't say the only man because there are some people that literally go to church because they want to know. But for me, I just have a feeling coming from back home, coming from that bounce to trap. The only way for a man to follow you all the way to church is because he needs you and you have something that he wants. Right? Because I, do, I just don't find it that easy that this man, let's say he was making his own money and he was financially stable. I don't think he would just walk into that to her church with her like that without any objection she said let's go to check and he went that usually don't happen like people usually try to investigate like what type of church is this or things like that so for me i feel like she holds all the strings she's the one pulling all the strings but you got to be careful when you're doing that because you are at the same time the puppet and the puppet master you cannot do that so you have to pick your role. And in African tradition, women have a big role to play. Do not go, if you are African, ask a man in marriage. That usually don't work out. Why? Because, uh, speaking of topic of the day, most men that you ask in marriage will not have the courage to tell you no. First of all, they, don't want, they care about you. They don't want to humiliate you in public. Uh, we often find a lot of men that say that he got accepted to mar- he accepted to marrying his wife when she asked him to marry him just because he didn't have the courage to say no so you got to be careful we, we like when you care about somebody when you care about someone it's very hard to like tell them no and that is what this guy is you know, is facing in my opinion. So she's the one that is putting because she has the money. She's the one providing for this guy and everything. She got to be careful with that because you don't, uh, yes, the guy loves you and everything like that. Then just let time take its course. Do not, if you feel like, hey, he might not be the right one, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, you should go ahead and find someone else. Do not assume that, uh, this guy want the same thing you want. Do not think for the other person. Think for yourself. Because in this situation, if you already have four other relationships, maybe the question isn't so much about this guy. Maybe the question, I mean, when I say four relationships, four marriage, may, and you're only 32 years old, maybe the real question isn't about this guy. It might be about yourself. What is it that you are doing that, you know, is chasing all these men away. Are you afraid of commitment? Are you the type of person where things get serious, you decide to run away? So you also got to put that into factor because we know some people like that. We know some people that when things get serious, they find a way out. They just want to quit, you know. Uh, I'm not an expert in marriage by (laughs) any means, but I just think that, you know, when things get serious, that is when you really find the true character of the other person, right? You know, are they just going to run away or are they going to stay in and say we are in this together and things like that so you know and if the relationship is over it's over for us men it's very hard to tell the other person that so she have to maybe i don't know how but they should have a speech so that being said do you believe that a woman should ask a man out in marriage that is the question of today podcast do you believe that a woman should ask a guy out to marry her so let me kind of talk a little bit about it more but before we talk about it let's take a little break all right welcome back so earlier we were talking about the fact that a woman shouldn't be 
uh, asking for a man in marriage. So a lot of women are often ask this question. So if a woman shouldn't ask for a man in marriage, why is it that when they did it, the men say yes? Well, like I said before, the reason why a man will always say yes when you ask him out, first of all, when you're doing it in public, he has no choice. It's not like you're giving him an alternative, like say, you can also say no. No, he has no choice but to say yes. One, because he doesn't want to embarrass you in front of your friends. Two, because he feels that because he cares for you, he has to say yes. So that is the number one reason as to why a man will not refuse in public or whether it's in the closet to say yes when you ask him to marry you. That is number one. Now, believe it or not, every single man feel pressure when a woman asks him to marry him. You will feel pressure. Every single man also have guilt. The guilt of saying no. That is most of the time why they will say yes. Not only, <laughs> uh, not only a man will also say yes, uh, not to make you feel bad and everything, but we also have to recognize one, uh, recognize one thing. A lot of women, when they're trying to ask for a man to marry them, they also do what we call in French, le matuvu. What is matuvu? Matuvu is when a woman decides to ask for a man to marry her in a public place and try to magnify the situation right she want to feel exceptional and you putting a man in a position where his answer can be nothing but yes right because at least when it's in a close uh close or within closed door he has the opportunity to tell you to your face like hey this is how i feel and everything but when you bring it out in public in front of friends and family because you want to feel special it's not really about him it's about you you want to be happy you want to feel special about the, that you know occasion or opportunity and the man is only going to give you what you're asking for so he has no choice but to say yes think about it and a lot of time when a man say yes and he feel pressure and he feel trapped because that is essentially what it is it is a trap right it is a trap why because he really didn't want to say yes in the first place but because you put him in front of this audience that push him or trap him to say yes a lot of times that marriage is not going to last or it's not going anywhere now we talk about it, but there are also sometimes some uh, exceptions. There's always exceptions to the rule, right? That's why we live, right? When you live, they, every rule has an exception. And one of those exceptions is this, right? So, uh, there's a man that tried to ask a woman many times in marriage. I believe it was like... I don't know, more than twice, right? He tried to ask this woman out in marriage more than twice, and she kept saying no. But he didn't, you know, he didn't lose hope or anything like that just because he knew what was going on. They had, like, some family conflict about religions and, you know, you know, they are some traditions or some tribe. For example, back home, like, I believe when, like, a woman wants to marry, like, if she's Muslim, they tend to marry, like, a Muslim woman has to marry to a Muslim man and things like that, right? And, you know, it can, a, ma a Muslim, you know, man can marry whoever he wants, but I believe, if I can recall it correctly, you know, a Muslim woman has to marry a Muslim man. So they had a situation in this case where there was religion involved. So every time the man asked for, his this woman hands she kept saying no right he wanted to marry her he asked like more than two times and she said no so he finally gave up but then this woman realized that she was about to lose a good man because you know of family conflict so she decided to just go ahead and live her life by you know forgetting about you know religion conflict and such and such so she organized an event where she finally proposed to this man because he had already proposed to her more than two occasions in which she said no so now she proposed in turn to him because she already knew that is what this man wanted to do and she was for sure certain that that is also now what she wants to do he ended up working out right they are still married you know over 13 years and things like that. So that is one of the rare 
occasion in which a woman asks a man out and they actually walk out. Why? Because, you know, things such and such work. And there are some other women that I'm sure will say that, well, they did it and it's still working. Now, I'm not here to say no, it's not, you know, right. But I'm saying if you were born and raised in the old school fashion, I'm not talking about African here, just old school fashion, where your parent gave you certain value, where you learned something from your dad. Growing up is, most of the time, a man should be the one taking that step. Some people go as far as, I don't like to use the Bible because, you know, I'm not that knowledgeable. But I believe there's a passage where they say a man will leave his parents to go and attach himself to his wife. It doesn't say the other way around, right? So, uh, I believe asking for uh, someone to marry him or her is a responsibility of a man. A man in an old-fashioned way is supposed to go and ask for a woman hands in marriage. Now, for those of you that will actually say, well, we're in the 20th century, uh, there has to be equality and everything in a marriage and, you know, a man, a woman should also be able to do the same thing that a man uh, can do. Well, for that, I only have one question. And you can answer it however way you want. Be honest with yourself. So, I always like, because I heard the example before, and I would like that example. So, let's say we are sleeping. It's maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. And somehow we are upstairs, you know, sleeping in the bedroom. And you hear some noises downstairs with a thief, you know. Maybe he probably has a gun and everything. But then your man we supposed to be the one taking, be the leader of the house, tells you, or oh, wakes you up, first of all, wakes you up and say, hey, uh, there are some people downstairs, I believe they are there, maybe uh, you should go check it out. I'm going to stay here and wait for you. How will you feel about it? Because the part of being a man in a household is also a sense of providing security for a family. How will you feel about it if your man is the one sending you downstairs to go check on the thief? If you're being honest with yourself, I'm not going to answer it for you, but I believe most women will want their men to go check out. So, equality only works up to a certain level. Okay? There are things that a man must do. Just like being a gentleman is something that a must must be. You know, it has nothing to do about, oh, equality or anything like that. They are just things that a man must do just because I'm not saying that it's a man's job. But it is a man's job to provide security for his family. So, you know, think a little bit about that. While you're thinking about it, thank you for listening to this episode. And uh, by the way, uh, check out Taste of Cameroon, right? Taste of Cameroon in Plano, Texas. And uh, I believe next Saturday they are having a thing where you can buy, uh, you know, fish, you know, whole fish, tilapia. You can buy what they call uh, igusi, which is pretty much like spinach with like, you know, pumpkin seed and things like that you can also buy a meat soya which is my favorite i go there to eat soya all the time you know you can buy soya you can also buy uh, uh some people that like pork chop grilled pork chop yeah you definitely can find it there and all of this is made with 100 percent bio uh Arabs, right? There's no chemical involved or anything like that. So please go check out Taste of Cameroon. By the way, they are not paying me for commercial. I just like the food. But go check out Taste of Cameroon in Plano, Texas. In the meanwhile, thank you for listening to this podcast episode. God bless you. If you have anything that you want to do in life, go ahead and do it because life is short and everything. So God bless and talk to you on my next podcast episode. Peace.